Já vím, já vím. Dobré? Hey guys, in this video you will see the arrival to the loading place Bohumin in Czech Republic and the departure from the unloading place Molheim and Rhein in Germany. Now, we start at the last parking lot before the Polish border. It's a few kilometers to the loading area. We're going to Bohumin. To connect to the motorway, we use the maximum length of the connecting lane to develop as much speed as possible and smoothly connect between cars, although in this case no cars are running. The D1 highway is the longest and oldest highway in the Czech Republic. It plays a key role in the country's transportation infrastructure as it connects the capital city of Prague with Brno and continues eastwards to Ostrava. Here are some key facts and information about the D1 highway. Basic information, total length approximately 377 kilometers with planned extension up to 465 kilometers. Route, the D1 highway runs from Prague through Brno to Ostrava and further to the Polish border near the town of Bohemia. First section. Construction of the highway began in 1939 with the first section opening in 1971 between Prague and Myrosovice. Important cities on the route. Prague, Brno, Jalava, Olomouc, Ostrava. Beginnings of construction. The first plans for the construction of this highway date back to the 1930s. Construction was interrupted by World War II and resumed in the 1960s. slash 67 road is an important route in the Czech Republic connecting the cities of Karvina, Seskitezen, Trinac, and Jablinkov in the eastern part of the country in the Moravian Silesian region. It is approximately 57 kilometers long and ends at the Mosti u Jablunkova border crossing from where it continues as Slovak road I slash 11 towards Katka. The road is crucial for transportation between the Czech Republic and Slovakia, especially for the transport of industrial products and raw materials from the Trinec Ironworks. It also plays a significant role in tourism, 
due to its access to tourist attractive areas such as the Viscaiti Mountains. Although it is regularly maintained, some sections can be burdened by heavy traffic, which occasionally leads to the need for repairs and modernization. Silesian region of the Czech Republic, located near the border with Poland, with a population of around 20,000. It is an important industrial center, particularly known for its heavy industries like ironworks and chemical production. The town has a rich history, first mentioned in 1256, and has always been strategically significant due to its location on key trade routes. Bohumín is also a major railway hub serving as a crucial connection between Central and Eastern Europe. The town's historical part, Old Bohumín, retains a medieval character with several preserved buildings, including the parish church of the Nativity of the Virgin Mary. Nearby, the meanders of the Odra River Nature Reserve attracts nature lovers. Bohumín has a strong sports tradition, particularly in ice hockey and football, and regularly hosts cultural events, such as town festivals and markets. Its proximity to the Polish border fosters cross-border cooperation and influences local culture and traditions. Overall, Bohumín plays a significant role in the region's industrial and cultural landscape.
2-471 road is a regional route in the Moravian Silesian region, connecting the cities of Ostrava, Bohumín, Dolny Lutín, Detmaravis, Karvina, and Seskitezen. It spans approximately 38 kilometers, starting in Ostrava, passing through the industrial areas of Bohumín and Karvina, and ending in Seskitezen, a town on the Polish border. This road is important for local transportation, providing access to employment opportunities, schools, and industrial enterprises, and it also plays a role in international transport towards Poland. Although it is regularly maintained, some sections may experience heavy traffic, particularly near larger cities. Ja wiem, ja wiem! Dobre?
We are already in Germany and after unloading in Mulheim and Der Ruhr. In this part of the video, we leave the factory and drive to the A3 motorway and drive part of the way along it. We have beautiful morning weather. It's gonna be great. Now, I'm off to Munster to load for Volkswagen near Bratislava, Slovakia. But you won't see that in the video. Mulheim in Der Ruhr is a city in North Rhine-Westphalia in Germany, located in the Ruhr area, one of Europe's largest urban regions. First mentioned in 1093, the city developed around its strategic location on the Ruhr River, which fueled trade and industrial growth. Historically known for its steel industry, Mulheim has transitioned to a more service and technology-oriented economy while still valuing its industrial roots. The city boasts cultural landmarks like Schloss Breuch, one of Germany's oldest castles, and the Wasserbahnhof, a water station for river tours. Mulheim is also known for its green spaces with parks and the Rödelbruck offering beautiful views of the surrounding nature. Education and research are prominent with the Max Planck Institute for Coal Research being a key institution. The city is well connected by public transportation and has a population of about 170,000 making it quieter than other cities in the Ruhr area. Mulheim also hosts important cultural events, such as the Stuck Theater Festival, which draws international attention. When there is no one behind me, I have no problem standing still for those few seconds and letting others pass. Germans are good people, and I'm always happy to accommodate them.
the following situation is not ideal. I hadn't noticed that traffic had backed up. I wouldn't enter the intersection in this situation. There's a danger of blocking the lane when the lights change. Fortunately, it turned out well, and I continued driving.
Germany's most significant and busiest roads, stretching from the Dutch to the Austrian border and passing through key cities like Oberhausen and Frankfurt am Main. In the Ruhr area, located in North Rhine-Westphalia, the A3 plays a crucial role in connecting this densely populated and industrially important region to the rest of the country and beyond. The Ruhr area, encompassing cities like Essen, Dortmund, and Duisburg, is a major urban agglomeration where the A3 highway facilitates the transport of goods, contributing to the region's economic vitality. Historically, the A3 was constructed between the world wars and has since undergone continuous expansion and modernization, particularly around the Ruhr area, due to its economic significance. This section of the highway experiences heavy traffic, particularly during rush hours, and is often congested, especially with a high volume of truck traffic. To address these challenges, various measures such as lane widening and intersection modernization have been implemented. The highway's environmental impact in the Ruhr area has been mitigated through modifications like noise barriers and green belts, reflecting a broader focus on environmental protection in this historically industrial region. Additionally, the A3 provides access to numerous cultural and historical sites, many of which are former industrial sites transformed into recreational areas, highlighting the region's rich industrial heritage. The A3 is thus a vital transportation route, deeply integrated into the urban and industrial fabric of the Ruhr area. Did you notice the motorcade in the opposite direction? It often happens that the convoy forms out of shit. There is nothing anywhere, no construction restrictions or accidents, just a mystery.
Thank you for watching, and I hope you will comment in the comments if this text-to-speech is fine, or if you want subtitles again. For me, text-to-speech will be better as I can provide more information and interesting facts about the place. Have a nice day, everyone!